All right. It says it says we're live. I'm just going to give a, give people a moment to hop on. Perfect. Excellent. We're prompt and ready to go today. <laughs> yes, I, I. We just continue to get better at this, Aaron. <laughs> Okay. I need to. All right, I'm I'm good whenever you're going to be. We only have a couple people on right now. I see Marianne. Okay, perfect. Well, yeah, let's do that then. And uh, hold on a second. Put it on mute there so we don't get feedback. All right. Right. Okay, I just want to turn this off. Perfect. So welcome everybody. Um, my name is Joanne Rempel and I'm one of the co-owners of, of Pure Glow Natural Skin Rejuvenation Center. And I am so excited today to be able to have Dr. Erin Weeb, a naturopathic doctor at both um, Nature Doctors, where she practices, as well as she's an education consultant and director for us at Pure Glow. And so we're so excited to have her on our Facebook Live because she always brings a wealth of information. And uh, I'm super excited about today, Erin. Uh, today, I, I'm really, um, because our focus at Pure Glow has been so inside out, outside in, that sometimes we, you know, we really have to remember what we really have to nourish our bodies, both, you know, both from a healthy perspective, but I know you're going to get into something that's going to be sort of soulful, because I know we talk, we were talking about nature and those sorts of things. But I really, um, I'm really excited to have you because these, um, these Facebook live sessions are so informative. And um, they, they provide uh, a really great jumping off point um, today, especially because of the, the healthy trifecta we're going to talk about. And then make sure you stay tuned because we have some really great promos at the end that you're going to want to take advantage of because really, um, we really want to be able to um, sort of get you started on a journey of feeling great uh, and looking beautiful. Dr. Aaron, thank you so much for being with us today again. And uh, again, I can't wait to, to hear what you have to present. Great. Thank you so, so much, Joanne. It's great. It's always great to be here. I always love diving into these topics as well. I feel like um, I get, I get this wonderful ability to curate these, these discussions together and it's, it's a lot of fun actually to put it together. So Excellent. Um, I think, I, I don't know that we've dropped, uh, you know, what is the healthy trifecta? I think we've, we've announced that we're talking about this healthy trifecta and this right. is something that Joanne and I, um, brainstormed on in the last couple of months as we were preparing for what we wanted to talk about in July specifically. So the first question I think is that people might be on people's minds is what is this healthy trifecta that we're talking about? And so I want to, I want to drop finally the drum roll. What is the healthy trifecta? I know I announced it on my Instagram page earlier too, that we're, I'm going to be talking about this. So what is it? So the healthy trifecta is vitamin D, nature and movement. And so vitamin D, nature and movement. And this is, this is a great time of year to be optimizing all of those things, which is why we felt like this was a really great topic for, for the month of July, as far as skin health goes. So I want to, I want to dive into each one of these and just talk a little bit more about, about how each of these influences our skin and natural beauty and skin health. So we're going to start with vitamin D. We talked a little bit about vitamin D last month as, as far as its relationship with with the sun, we talked about sunscreen last month. Um, I left I left us hanging with a couple of questions. I think this I think this month I will be answering some of those questions. Um, but I'm going to start with with vitamin D. Vitamin D is it's really we call it a vitamin. It's actually more of a, a hormone. It has more of a, a hormonal function actually in our body. And I think you could possibly go on Google or whatever search engine, whether it's PubMed, Google whatever search engine you use and look up vitamin D and 
whatever. And you'll probably find some sort of benefit that it has towards your health, um, whether it's skin health, bone health, hormonal health, immune health. Um, I, I can't speak higher, like highly enough about this particular vitamin and its role in the body. But today we're going to be focusing mostly on skin health because that is, that is our focus, but it really goes above and beyond that. So why does vitamin D or how does vitamin D impact our skin health? So first of all, vitamin D in the skin, it plays a role in, I'm going to use some big words today, but I'll define them, but it plays a role in cell proliferation and differentiation. So in, in simple terms, it helps us make new skin. That's the proliferation part. And it helps us to make healthy new skin. And that's the differentiation part. When, when something is not well differentiated, it, it can lead to cancer. So when we have good levels of vitamin D, we get, we get new skin growth and it's healthy skin growth. So in, in essence, it's helping to prevent skin cancer when we have optimized levels. So that's, that's number one. That's why we care about it as far as our skin. Um, it also supports immune regulation in the skin and therefore it promotes wound healing and tissue repair, which is also obviously great for, you know, natural radiant skin. We want it to heal well as well. So, and, and I mean, we can be talking about our, our facial skin, but this is, pardon me, this applies to the skin on our whole body. Um, it can modulate inflammation in the skin. Again, I'm going to use some big words. It induces angiogenesis, which means that it helps to build new blood vessels to the area. And when we think of new blood vessels, we're thinking of more circulation and more nutrients to the area. That's one thing that happens as we age, as we lose, we lose blood cells to that, to the area, certain areas of our skin, and then we lose nutrition to the skin. And so it just doesn't get fed well. It's like my garden right now. We don't, we're not getting enough rain. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? <laughs> so it's starting to shrivel up and it doesn't look so great. That's kind of what happens in our skin. <laughs> That's right. That's a good um, analogy. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of came to me, but, but as I'm speaking that, I'm like, that's what my garden looks like. Um, it restores ep uh, epidermal uh, barrier function. So the top layer of our skin, it helps to promote a really nice, healthy, functional barrier so that it protects the lower layers of our skin from any environmental exposures. Um, and so that, that, that all kind of fell under the category of um, immune regulation promoting wound healing and promoting tissue repair. So lots of great things that vitamin D does in the skin. And lastly, and I, this is not an exhaustive list, but these are just sort of some of the main highlights, but it helps to prevent photo damage. And photo damage re refers to that skin damage that happens from UV or ultraviolet light from the sun. You know, depending on the dose of, of that sun exposure, it can lead to DNA damage. It can lead to an inflammation. It can lead to another big word, apoptosis which means um, cell death. And, and, and we do need our cells to die, but it can, it can kind of promote too much cell death, uh, the sun that is, um, and can obviously lead to more skin aging and skin damage. And so what vitamin D does is it's been found to reduce skin damage by decreasing that DNA damage, reducing cellular death when it's not necessary, increasing cell survival and decreasing redness in the skin. So vitamin D has lots of great uses in our skin health. So again, it's promoting healthy cell uh, production and differentiation. It helps uh, with tissue repair and uh, wound healing. And then it also helps to prevent some of the damage that happens when we have sun damage. So lots of amazing things that it does. The issue though, when we're talking about, um, oh, and I, I guess I should insert this part too. We talked about this last time a little bit of, of how, how do we get vitamin D? So there are a few uh, dietary sources of vitamin D. Most of the time, those food sources are fortified with vitamin D, meaning that vitamin D is added to them, something like milk or dairy, for example. Mm -hmm. um, so the, the problem is in the summer is that if we're wearing sunscreen, which we highly, highly promote to wear sunscreen, uh, you know, the, the benefits of sunscreen are, are, are well-documented and, and well-researched. Uh, but the problem is though, as far as vitamin D goes, is if we cover our skin with either clothing or sun, sunblock or sunscreen, what we don't get is that vitamin D conversion that happens in our skin. That's the, that's the first um, way that vitamin D is made, is made in our body is through um, ultraviolet or UVB rays that actually activates or synthesizes the vitamin D in our skin. Um, and it gets activated in our liver and our kidneys as well. So if we wear sunscreen, 
that's, that's one concern. So we'll, we'll come back to how we're going to optimize these things and, and how we might be able to deal, deal with, with that. But that's, that's one issue. The other issue is, is the angle of the sun matters. And so depending on where you live geographically, you might not get adequate sun exposure throughout the year. Obviously, if you live closer to the equator, you're getting optimal, you know, angles of the sun throughout the year, but living up further up north where we do here in Manitoba, mm -hmm. we really only get optimal angles of the sun sort of between May and September. So a good portion of the year, we're not getting, uh, you know, optimal sun angles. And so that's why, that's right. why we're talking about this in July. Um, so folks with darker skin also, they actually have sort of a natural sunscreen in their body, uh, that pigmentation or melanin in their skin actually acts as a protective mechanism for them, um, that acts like a sunscreen. And so they don't get as much vitamin D conversion. So that's another consideration for people with darker skin. Um, and then aging as we age, we actually, the, the capacity that our body has to synthesize vitamin D actually declines as we age. So there are a few issues that, um, we definitely want to keep in mind. Again, when we wear sunscreen, we don't, uh, uh, activate our vitamin D in our skin. We don't, uh, get good sun angles, uh, or angles yeah. of the sun for the majority of the year. Folks with darker skin will have a harder time uh, just naturally converting vitamin D in their skin. And as we age, we naturally have a harder time synthesizing vitamin D in the skin. So that, that's vitamin D a little bit more in a nutshell. We'll talk about optimization momentarily. So we're going to move on to the next one. Are there any questions that have come in about vitamin D, Joanne? Not, not so far. No, I haven't seen anything yet, but I will I'll certainly, um, I'll let you know. Okay. Sounds good. So let's move on to nation. I find this, I find this so, um, you know, cause everything we've learned about skincare, uh, Aaron is really about feeding that dermis. So when I hear blood, you know, increased blood circulation and increased blood vessel production, then, then I know that we're producing collagen and we're really beginning to nourish that skin. And, and as, um, as a woman who's, in middle age, I hate to admit that, but that's really important to somebody like me because one of the things that happens is those blood vessels sort of dry up over time and they are not nourishing our skin. So that's really important. Thank you for bringing that up. That is an excellent point. Yeah, vitamin D is is my favorite vitamin and it does a lot of really cool things. <laughs> does it ever? Um, so let's talk about nature next. Why, why nature? Why are we talking about nature when we're talking about skin health? So there is a, and I'm, I'm actually going to bring this back to a conversation. I went back through my notes for the different Facebook lives that we've done so far. And I went back to September, 2020. And I remember we had a discussion about um, how stress affects the skin. And so I'm going to come back to that, but I'm going to start by talking about nature and how, how there's actually a growing body of research on how nature and visiting green spaces, how helps to reduce psychological stress. We're going to tie that back into the skin momentarily. So there was a study and there's lots of studies on this. This, I just, I, I picked out a couple of, of um, just a couple really, but um, there was a study in 2018 and they looked at, uh, they, they put people into groups, three different groups. So people that were going to go into more of a wilderness setting, people that were going to go into a municipal park. So a park setting, but within a city. And then uh, they also put another group of people into an indoor exercise facility within a city. And what they were looking at were the levels of, of cortisol or their stress hormone, as well as measuring psychological measures. They had a, they had a, you know, um, a, a questionnaire or a, a, a of some sort of a, an inventory that they had to answer before and after visiting those three sites, the wilderness setting, the municipal park, and then the, the indoor exercise facility. And what they found is that visitors to the natural environmental environmental setting reported significantly lower levels of stress than their counterparts who visited more of the urbanized um, outdoor setting as well as the indoor exercise facility. So that study was showing that um, really trying to differentiate between like, we know that exercise reduces stress, but exercise that we do outside, particularly in more of a wilderness setting is gonna actually have the best effect in terms of lowering psychological stress. And they were looking again at more like subjective uh, information by, by looking at a scale, psychological scale, as well as measuring their cortisol levels. And just to give a little bit more, so what does that mean for us? You know, the American Psychological Association 
um, has a few more kind of points under that. But basically spending time in nature is linked to both cognitive benefits as well as improvement in mood, mental health and emotional well-being. Um, it's also important that we feel connected to nature and that that can actually produce a similar benefit to well-being regardless of how much time we spend outside. So it's not, it's not so much how much time, but really that we feel connected when we're there. So if we could just go outside for two hours in the bush and we look at our phone all day, the whole time we're out there, we're not going to have the same benefit as if we, oh. right. <laughs> as if we actually engage in nature and like, look at, you know, mindfully look at things that we are observing in our, in our surrounding. So just, you know, when we go to the, I cottage, knew you were going to put a qualifier in there. <laughs> there you go. Um, and then they also looked at, um, cause a lot of the research is coming out on what they call green space, but they also looked at blue spaces. So more of an aquatic environment actually produces the same benefits. So we can sit by a lake or sit by the ocean, um, and have a very similar, similar effect. Um, but, but really ultimately the more remote, the more biodiverse the the space is, the more helpful it is actually in reducing our stress, even better than an urban park that, that has trees. However, I just want to put the caveat there is that we don't always have time to go to a park. Like a, right. I'm thinking of like Beaudry Park or something like Birds Hill Park. We don't always have time to drive outside the city. Um, so even getting outside into a green space in your neighborhood is still better than not doing that at all. Mm -hmm. Maybe not today with the smoke oh, the way it is. <laughs> but <laughs> soon. Hopefully. Yeah, no kidding. yeah. Today's a gray space. <laughs> exactly. Um, so let's, let's, let's circle back and figure out like, how does this relate to our, our skin health? And this is what, what I did discuss in a, in a Facebook live back in September, but it, it applies here again. So there's actually this connection between our skin and our brain and recent research has confirmed that, that the skin has, has both an immediate stress. It perceives stress as well as it has target receptors for stress. And so meaning that our cortisol levels, when our cortisol levels raise, it actually does have an effect on our skin as well. Yeah. Um, the skin is the, is the largest organ of the body. So it makes sense that it's not going to be immune from those, those effects of stress. And we are, and we actually have receptors on our skin that respond to stress and our skin can actually create its own stress hormone signals as well. And so it can lead to things like inflammation in the skin. Um, and so stress can actually affect our, our barrier function of the skin and also affect wound healing. So, you know, we, 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 we think of stress, we think of psychological stress. Maybe we think of, you know, the stress, stress is, and its effect on our, on our heart. Um, or maybe, you know, some people have digestive symptoms when they have stress, but it really, I would say maybe a more silent effect of stress is, is that slow effect that it has on our skin as well. And so that's why spending time in nature, spending time in green spaces, particularly, or, or blue spaces, um, do actually help our skin health as well. And that's that inside out approach, uh, looking more from that inside approach to our health. I have a question. Um, if we can go back to vitamin D just for one second. Mm -hmm. A question from Deborah: um, Is it better to take vitamin D in pill form or droplet form? I know personally, I use the drops. Yep. Um, I personally use the Metagenix drops from Nature Doctors, yep. and I just drop them under my tongue, and that's the one I use because. But is there is there a benefit? I mean, you can use either of them. I. I don't have the exact data on this particular um, information I'm going to give you. So I, you know, I, I don't have it at my fingertips, but um, they did do some research on vitamin D tablets and they did find that it was harder for, or there was discrepancy between the dosage that was on the bottle and how much was actually found in the tablet. Right. And so that's one thing that it may not be as, as accurate. Um, the other thing is vitamin D is a fat soluble nutrient, meaning that it will absorb better when it's with a fat, um, right. you know, either. So, so if you are taking a tablet, definitely take it with food, take it with, with something that has some fat it doesn't have to be like a greasy burger. I'm not talking about a greasy burger, but even like, you know, some salmon or avocado or whatever, take it with your fish oil. Uh, if you take fish oil as well. Um, so, so the droplets are already emulsified in a fat, so they do tend to absorb better. better. Um, they're also mm -hmm. really convenient to take because you can Drop Super them in your mouth, drop them in your water, your smoothie, and they're, they're pretty easy to take. So I, I usually recommend 
drop forms, but you know, if you already have tablets at home, use them up and just make sure that you're taking them with, with a dietary fat as well. Excellent. And a second question just came in, Erin, and that was, we were talking about stress and the reaction to skin. Is this, can this be a trigger for acne and blemishes? Yes. So that's actually the context that we talked about it in September. We, we, I talked about this in the context of adult acne. Right. Um, and so, yes, absolutely. When we think of, you know, it contributes to inflammation, you know, when we are more stressed, there's more inflammation in the skin. Um, and that will definitely perpetuate someone who already has acne prone skin, particularly making it more, more inflammatory in nature. Yeah. Good. Thank you. Excellent. Yes. You're welcome. So let's move on to movement. That's the second trifecta we've talked about, or it's the second, that's the third, the third, you know, pillar of our trifecta. We've talked about vitamin D, we've talked about uh, nature. Let's talk about movement now. So again, like what does movement have to do with my skin? Um, mm -hmm. Basically, you know, it, there's, there's a number of things. I mean, we could talk about how movement also reduces stress. So that's, that's, you know, I didn't dive into that part here, but that's certainly part of it. Um, mm -hmm. but it, what, what movement does when we move our bodies, whether it's, you know, going for a run, going for a cycle, um, even like jumping on a trampoline, whatever that movement may be, basically what happens is it stimulates lymphatic movement. And so the lymphatic system, which I feel like is sort of an under talked about, uh, system of our body, mm -hmm. but it, what it is, is it's, it's, it's made up of our lymphatic vessels. It's made up of lymph nodes. It's made up of blood cells, uh, white blood cells called lymphocytes, and it's made up of lymphatic organs like our spleen. So that that's our lymphatic system. And what it's responsible for is draining fluid from our tissue. It removes waste from our tissue and it coordinates immune responses within our body. So it, it plays a really integral role. Um, but what, what this system it's, it's so amazing, but what it doesn't have is a pump. So when we think of our cardiovascular system, like all the blood vessels in our body, they're, they're being, um, influenced by the pumping of the heart. And so they have this sort of built-in pump that keeps that circulation moving. The lymphatic system doesn't have a pump. What it relies on is our body's movement to kind of initiate like, the, the, the muscles in our body. Uh, to initiate movement of those, those lymphatic vessels. And so in order to help promote, like I said, draining of fluid, removing waste from our tissue, removing, um, you know, extra fluid from our tissue, it relies on, on movement. And, and, you know, it, it, I, I'm specifically talking about body movement. There's other ways of, of activating our lymphatic system, which we can maybe have a whole other live on that another time. Um, but it, it relies on that movement. So, um, and, and so again, bringing this connection back to the skin, like what does this have to do with the skin? So healthy lymphatic movement is essential also for our skin health. We have a lot of waste. Well, we have a lot of circulation that happens in our skin. I, I, I we talk mostly about the skin on our face, but it's everywhere. Um, and so we need, you know, we're getting nutrients to the area. We talked about healthy angiogenesis or, or, you know, building up of new blood vessels to the area, but we also right. need something to carry that back away. Right. So we need that lymphatic system to be working properly to help move that waste out of the skin. Um, and it also, you know, it also benefits us in terms of cancer prevention. Um, you know, we are talking about natural beauty, but I think, I think we can't talk about natural skin beauty, unless we're also talking about cancer prevention as well. And so yeah, absolutely moving that, that fluid out of our skin also promotes, um, cancer prevention. Mm -hmm. Um, and in, in addition to lymphatic movement, uh, movement of our body also promotes detoxification, right? When we, when we, when we move our body, we sweat and that that's part of our, our process for detoxification is that sweating action as well. So we also get this added benefit of detoxification when, when we move our body. Um, any questions about that one? I, I'm going to give you a little bit more about how to optimize these things, but are there any questions that have come in about movement? Not right now, but I have to tell you, it was so interesting that you're talking about this because I was just watching. I'm always looking for different ways to move, especially when it's really hot in the summer and you, you know, you're, you're not at the gym per se, but, um, it was kind of, this is kind of funny, but, um, you know, Goldie Hawn, who is a, you know, an iconic, uh, movie star and we take so much of our trend from Hollywood but she was talking about just dancing it out right just totally be, just being in your house and turning on some good tunes and dancing it out so finding alternative you know 
slightly strange possibly, but fun ways of movement uh, are the things that I like to do. You know, uh, the, the biking and dancing and those sorts of things are not your typical, you know, go for a walk or go for a jog for some yep. of us. Those, you know, you know, some of us who've had hip replacements and knee replacements or who have sore knees, we have to find alternative methods. So thank you for saying that, because I think it's really important for us to understand. Just get up a sweat, right? Yeah. Totally. Yeah. And actually you brought up another thing that came to my mind. I, I did a presentation on breast health um, last week and um, lymphatic movement is really important for breast health too. So if I can just slip this in here, cause it's on the tip of my sure. brain here to fit today, yes. but um, doing that kind of thing, like dancing without your bra on actually is a really great way. I know maybe not super comfortable. Maybe you want to like hold, hold your breasts a little bit, but doing that movement without constraint um right. is actually really great for um for your breast health too so oh that's cool i uh, yeah. throw that in there excellent excellent uh, yeah um so how do we optimize these things that that's what probably what everyone wants to know and like i said earlier summer is the best time to do this i think about what i did this summer actually was or sorry this past weekend was and this is when like all the ideas were percolating for this particular live was I went camping with my family. We were outside. We went to Heckle Island. We were outside in a green space. We went to the beach and we walked a lot. So like, boom, done. I optimized them all in that weekend. But um, just to give you a few other, a few other ideas, um, as far as vitamin D goes, um, I want to give you a little bit of information from a doctor named Dr. Michael Hollick. And he is actually an endocrinologist and he specializes in the field of vitamin D research. Um, and he says that exposing bare arms and legs to midday sun, so between 10, 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., for about five to 30 minutes, so it's kind of a broad, depends on your skin type, for about five to 30 minutes twice weekly may be sufficient to meet your vitamin D requirements. So I mean, I, I'll say it again, exposing bare arms and bare legs to midday sun between 10 and 2 for about five to 30 minutes twice weekly may be sufficient to meet your vitamin D requirements. But remember also that season latitude, like where you live geographically, your skin pigmentation, your age, whether or not you wear sunscreen, all of those things will also affect your vitamin right. D um, activation in your skin. So just keep those things in mind. And I would say even for someone who has more fair skin, I don't always put sunscreen on my legs, depending on what I'm doing. Um, and I don't, I mean, I don't sit and lie in the sun. If I did, I would definitely put sunscreen on my legs, but if I'm just walking around, I actually very, I, I very seldom actually even get any pigment, like pigmented change to my skin on my legs. So I often actually walk around with bare legs, uh, without sunscreen. Um, like I said, if I'm at the beach, that's a different story, but, um, but the other, so, so keeping those sort of those, um, hindrances in mind, you know, those things that can affect our vitamin D synthesis in our skin. I always promote testing and not guessing. That's just my strategy. I mean, we live in a modern age where we can test our vitamin D. It's not across the board, like mainstream. It's not actually recommended to test vitamin D. And I think part of that has to do with, with budgets. It's, right. it's seemingly expensive for the, for the province to pay for vitamin D testing for, for everybody or vitamin D level screening. Uh, but for an individual to pay for their vitamin D levels, it's not an expensive test then you right. know where your levels are at and how much vitamin D you may need to take for a period of time. I usually will recommend, you know, dosing based on your lab values for about three months and then retesting. Um, right. So that's a great way to know that you're getting enough vitamin D. And that, I'm glad you asked that because that was a question that just came in mm -hmm. from Courtney. Is there a way to get your vitamin D tested? So we could do that. Um, can I recommend that she can do that through nature doctors? Yep. Cause she, yeah. I mean, she sees a, a doc there as a matter of fact, she sees you. Um, the second thing is, is vitamin D related to aging at all? Like, does it diminish as you age or is, are you at a more of a risk? You know, how we talk about, you know, things like osteoporosis being more uh, prevalent possibly as you age is vitamin D also something that is um, diminishes over time. I, and I think I kind of got that from you. Yeah. And I think for a number of reasons, one is that it doesn't, it doesn't activate in the skin as readily from this, from sun right. exposure. So that would be one. 
Um, the other thing I would think of is, is possibly decreased absorption. Like if you are right. consuming some dietary sources of vitamin D, there may be decreased absorption as we get older. Right. Okay. Um, and sometimes just decreased nutrition in general, as we get older, depending on where we're living right. and our state of our general health. And, and certainly, you know, it will put us at risk for osteoporosis. And, and I should also mention when I talk about vitamin D screening, um, not being available, like generalized vitamin D screening to be available for Manitobans. Uh, if you have certain health conditions, it is something that will be covered by Manitoba health and your doctor will run. So if you do have a risk or you do have osteoporosis, oh, am I, right. am I frozen? Nope. Oh, yeah. Just for a minute. Just there you go. Back there. Okay. Okay. So if you do have osteoporosis or you do have an absorption, um, a known absorption issue like celiac disease, or you have a, an issue with your liver or your kidneys, which also are responsible for activating your liver, sorry, your vitamin D, um, you do qualify to have your vitamin D tested. So I should just mention those things too. Excellent. Perfect. Great. I think that was the last question so far. Okay. I hope, uh, can someone just say if they're, if like the quality of the sound is okay right now? I just, the video just is choppy. So I'm just hoping that the sound quality is okay on the live stream. Does anybody want to respond to that uh, from the live stream? Is the, is the sound good? Uh, certainly it is from where I'm sitting. So but okay. I'm also connected to you. So, and I know there's a bit of a delay between what right. I'm saying and what goes through Facebook. So I'll just keep going. Audio oh, is Geraldine, good. Okay. Geraldine tells us that the audio is good. Awesome. Thanks guys. <laughs> Thank you very much, Geraldine. Um, so that's vitamin D, how to optimize vitamin D. Vitamin, vitamin nature, actually we do kind of sometimes call it vitamin N or vitamin nature. I kind of slipped out, but um, that's true. Um, I don't know, get outside. At the very least, get outside in your neighborhood. There's probably a few trees in your neighborhood. I know I live in, I live in an older neighborhood in Winnipeg, so we have a lot of really big, beautiful trees. Um, there's a lot of new neighborhoods in Winnipeg, so you may have to go to a park, but just, just get outside even better. Go to a park, even better than that. Go to a park outside of the city, like mm -hmm. Beaudry park or birds Hill. I'm not sure there's, there's many others. Um, and, and go camping when you can as well, or, or right. go away for a weekend. Maybe you would prefer to stay at, at uh, a resort somewhere, but get outside, get outside at the very least, get in nature. There, there's just so much so much research now showing the benefit of, of being outside that it's, it's hard to, it's hard to not promote that as a, as a really um, important aspect of our health and, and not just for our skin, but also um, our psychological well-being as we're coming out of this pandemic. And, um, you know, more and more people are, are kind of struggling in that area. I think we need to be really hyper Hyper focused on on someone's holistic well being, and that doesn't right. so that includes right. includes that mental emotional part of their of themselves as well. Right. You know, you talked about blue space, and I, and I've never heard of that before. But I will tell you, for myself personally, when I'm around water, it is like a complete spiritual calming mm. for me. It is. And I mean, I, I love green space and I, you know, we have a, a cottage and I love to be there, but when I can look at the water or be near the water or I get to be near an ocean, uh, oh my gosh, it just like, you can feel your energy level shift mm -hmm. and flow, right? It's really, and it, it, that's such an, I, I'd never heard of the blue space thing before, but man, that that's so true. Yeah. Yeah. And it's interesting. I think, I think there's a lot of elements there. There's sort of like this there's rhythmic moving that happens by the water that can kind of take you out of your head. There's the sound of, you know, waves or, you know, the lapping of water. I think, I think you're, you're absolutely right. Um, there's a lot. Yes. Of, a Dr. Marianne says, totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's in as pure glow. I agree. I, I think there's nothing that really speaks to my spirit, like being in nature and being by water specifically. There's yeah. just something that takes me there. So. Yeah. And then how do we optimize moving our body? So um, this comes from uh, a senior phys physical therapist at the University of Texas at the MD Anderson Cancer Center. Her name is Sarah Cleveland. She says, any exercise is helpful for your lymphatic system. And particularly exercise under the water is especially helpful because you get this extra pressure 
from the water that that Im that improves the circulation. So I thought I'd add that in there just because if you like to swim um, oh. or like to get in the water, even if you just like to sort of um, tread water out at the lake, I know um, my my neighbor, my parents' neighbor, actually for years they've had a cottage out at, at Lake of the Woods, and she just puts her her um, like floaty around her waist, and she'll just go and just tread water for hours. Definitely wear your sunscreen. <laughs> Uh, but she'll just go and tread water for hours. And even that, the, just the, the, the movement of your arms and the, the extra pressure from the water can help to increase um, lymphatic movement as well. And then also, I'm going to add something in there too. Um, you know, if the lake is a little chilly and then you go and you have a sauna maybe on, at your lake, you know, that, that alternating hot and cold is another fabulous way of, of improving lymphatic movement as well. Um, whether you do it in a lake or you just have, you know, hot and cold showers, or you have a cold plunge and a, and a hot tub, whatever, you know, however you want to contrast the temperatures. Um, that's another great way of actually improving lymphatic flow because it creates a natural dilation when you're hot and a constriction when you're cold. So if you do it alternating, then it kind of produces um, a pump like action as well. Right. And I'm getting another one. And I, I love that because I, I don't like to go into the water until it's nice and warm. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I, I go in and out, in and out, but I, I know that it's true. The sauna really helps to really create that sort of different conditions for the body. Yeah. Um, Dr. Marianne also adds in that a trampoline is great for lymph flow. Well, uh, that's, Great. And I would say I'm not getting on a trampoline. So I'll go in and out of the cold water. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, trampolines are great too. I, especially like we talked about the breast health, right? Like take off your bra, maybe right. hold your breasts and do that. But I know as a, as a, um, a mom of two, it's sometimes the idea of going on a trampoline isn't always super, um, comfortable, but, but right. if you can also great. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's a great, that's a trampoline. That's great advice. Yeah. Good. So I guess just in summary, I just to make it simple, like I said, go to a park outside of the city, have your arms and legs bare for about 10 minutes, maybe outside before you put on your sunscreen and move your body and go for a swim. Beautiful. Awesome. Thank you. What a great presentation. You know, you always, you always bring it. <laughs> you always bring some great information to the table. And what I love, Dr. Aaron, about your presentations is it's all very usable right? It's all things that we can do now without having to invest in something, some, you know, some great things. These are things that are right at our fingertips. So, well, um, the, I think the problem right now is that we, we have, we're like full of information and starving for wisdom. I love, I love that, that quote where like, if beautiful, I can, I, if I just give you more information, like, what are you going to do with that? It, it has to be something that you're able to, that's tangible that you can bring into your life. That's going to have some sort of benefit. And maybe for some people, that's why I try to make a couple of options. Like, yes, the ideal would be to get out to a park outside of the city, but it's still better to get outside anywhere than to not, except maybe, like I said, with the current smoke situation. But once yeah. that, that dissipates, yeah. um, I, I just, I think that's really important that that health is accessible. It is at our fingertips um, and that there are many entry points. It doesn't always have to be, you know, the most advanced move that we make to make our, our health accessible to us. Absolutely. Um, I, I know my friend Geraldine is on and I know she's going to have loved, I love that quote full of information, but starving for wisdom. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Um, yeah. <laughs> she also adds, and I love this yeah. uh, post COVID. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever wear a bra again. Kudos to you, Geraldine. I I'm love with that. You. I'm with you too, but I, I do keep mine contained to home. <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> So, but I agree with you and I know you love that quote. So thank you again, Dr. Aaron, if there's are any other, and yes, she says, I love that quote. <laughs> Geraldine DeBron is on and she's, uh, she's one of uh, women that I participated in a chronology mm. group with. So she's super, super interested and super interesting lady. So thank you so much, uh, Dr. Aaron, I'm going to do some promos now. So feel free to jump in if you're in, if you have advice on what you've spoken about, but I'm going to share my screen. Don't mind. It's going to take a minute. It's going to go black and then we'll, uh, it'll automatically, uh, will show up again.
So here we go. So today's, uh, today's Facebook Live is all about how to optimize the healthy trifecta of natural beauty this summer. So, uh, and I think Dr. Aaron did a fabulous job. So Dr. Mary Ann and I and the entire uh, Pure Glow team are so excited and proud to have launched our Pure Glow store. So by all means, we love it when you come into the center and we can help you out with products there, but now you don't have to come in. Um, you can certainly uh, take advantage of uh, our online store and you can go to that by going www.pureglowskin.com and there you will uh, find, be able to go to the store and click on that and you will find all of our products. And that store is going to be growing because we'll share with you that we are taking a look at some amazing products to bring in for you um, that are Canadian made and I'm so proud of it. So... The promo code for today is Facebook Live. When you type in that promo code as you're checking out, it's going to give you all of the discounts that um, we're offering in the following slides. So, so today, the, the, the best promo we have for you is what we call the health and beauty trifecta. So this is, um, this is a great way to sort of put together everything that Dr. Aaron has spoken about today. So we're going to offer vitamin D. So um, I, my Metagenics D3, I, I took a picture and put it up there because that's, um, that's just a, a staple in my life. Sunscreen, right? If you're going to be outdoors, and it's great. I love that Dr. Aaron said, spend a little time without. But if you're going to spend some serious time outside, get that sunscreen on. And we have mineral-based sunscreen. So they are chemical-free. Um, we have uh, La Spa as well as we have Osmosis. So those are really great. And then really... Um, a facial is a great way for you to help for us to be able to regenerate uh, your skin at a deeper level, as well as we provide a lot of facial movement uh, in that. So again, relax, de-stress, enjoy uh, a facial. That's a regular package of $157.95 and today it's just $125. And you can uh, email us for that promo uh, because, or you can type in, um, Facebook trifecta and into the promo code. I don't have it listed here because we just were able to get it onto our page. Find the Facebook trifecta. As you cash out, it will give you 20% off if you type in trifecta 120. Uh, sorry, no, uh, Facebook trifecta. Okay, next, these are two products that we love uh, and you get 15% off and that's our Immerse Facial Oil. This is a restorative oil, again, and it's really about anti-inflammatory anti oil. And we're gonna give you a free gua sha stone with this. And the reason that is, is because this is a beautiful glide oil for you to create um, collagen and drainage in your facial skin, your neck, your decolletage, which is your chest. So um, you get a free gua sha stone and we'll send you the instructions on how to actually do a gua sha massage. And then replenish is one of our beautiful serums from Osmosis MD, which is our medical grade skincare brand. And this is an advanced antioxidant. So again, 17 antioxidants, 17 antioxidants. It promotes collagen and it reduces inflammation. So these two are both 15% off. So you can see the discounts there. And then what a better way to de-stress. Our, our next two promos are really focused on de-stressing. And that is um, our facial promo. So if you book a Calm Facial, which is regular $80, and I put $80 plus because you can add upgrades to it. And we're going to do that for you for $60, which is a great booking special. Um, and then we will give you 10% off any skincare products when you book this promo. Now you can go to our, uh, if you're not a member of our, our what we call our insiders at uh, Pure Glow, go to our Facebook page, uh, sorry, go to our website, and you can subscribe to our uh, insider group. 
this will give you a $50 facial. So you can even have better savings. So, and I love this quote, a facial is the next best thing to a hug. So for those of you who've been feeling isolated like I have, um, please come in and see us. We, um, we have an amazing facial group of, of estheticians that can give you an absolutely incredible experience. And then if you're like me, and you really need to de-stress sometimes. Um, today's, the other service promo we have is our de-stress acupuncture. And those treatments are generally 125 per treatment, but we're gonna offer you a package of three for $300. So that's a total savings of $75. Now, interesting, and I encourage you to check with your, you know, your healthcare plans, is acupuncture is covered by most, most healthcare plans. So um, feel free to check yours and then give Courtney, um, our manager, a call and she will check if we can actually direct bill it for you. So you may not even be out of pocket um, when you receive these treatments. I have to say COVID, this last stretch of COVID was particularly hard for me. And I finally got back in three weeks ago for acupuncture. And I'm telling you, it was the best thing I did for myself. And so that was my gift to myself during this last shutdown. Isolation and I don't do well together. And of course, we always have virtual consultations. So you can have a virtual consultation with a naturopath and have a, a skin consult. Um, this is an introductory offer only. It's a $70 um, skin consultation with one of our naturopathic doctors, actually Dr. Alex. And this is covered by most healthcare plans. And again, direct billing is available. So um, I'm just going to scoot out of this, uh, out of this Facebook page and we'll come live again. And we can say, there we go. There we go. So Aaron, there's some great promos in there. I have a question for you. Yes, you absolutely. Clarify. So um, one, one question I have is, so for the trifecta, the bundle with the vitamin D, the sunscreen and the facial. Yes. Um, can you just repeat the, the, the code for that one? Sure. The, that is Facebook trifecta. And is it Facebook or, or is it FB? Sorry, FB. Good. Thank you. Good catch. FB trifecta. Okay. And is it case sensitive? <laughs> nope. Okay. Nope. So for any other promos, you're going to want to use FB Live, but for that specific promo, because there's some service elements in it, so we had to create a new code, it's going to be called FB Trifecta. Great. Yeah. And if you have any just... problems, by all means, call us at 204-477-9723. Great. Thanks Great. for that. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Aaron. Thanks again to everybody who continues to join and support us. We will be live again in August. Uh, I think it's, I, I don't have the date. I think it's I don't August. either my date planner. Yeah, and I don't I know. even know the topic. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, I know it's going to be a great one again. It's going to be August. I'll give you the date. It's going to be August the, no, it's not August 23rd. Okay, I will announce it. Watch our Facebook page. Uh, Pure Glow, and we will certainly announce, give you plenty of time to connect with us again. Thank you for joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay well, keep moving, and take your vitamin D. <laughs> take, take care, care. everybody. Bye. Bye.